Coming up next, I talk with Jupiter entrepreneur and inventor Pete Cordani, who heads up a company called Geltech Solutions. And in an interview taped earlier, I asked Pete what Geltech was all about. It's an innovation company. Um, we try to come up with solutions for people's problems. Um, it's a very diversified company. Um, we have the ability to make changes. Um, we look at people's challenges and we try to offer a device to resolve that situation, basically. And one of the major devices, which is a really a terrific situation, is the fire ice, uh, fire retardant thing. Tell me, what's that all about? That's just become an awesome product to us. I mean, it's so diversified. It could be used in so many different ways. Um, it has multi-task purposes. You can go after a car fire, a brush fire out of aircraft. Um, you could do tire fires. It just has the ability, because most products that are designed are specifically made for one use. What's really unique about this product, it does multiple uses. There's multiple applications with the one product. So that's what's really made it amazing to us. Well, well, what's it made of? It's uh, potassium based. It's really our secret sauce. <laughs> but okay, it, you it ain't is, telling, right? It it's is a, green. It's you a can, patented. Uh, yes, yeah. it is patented in 30 different ways. You could eat it. It's green. <laughs> it's safe for the environment. So that was, you know, a really uh, important situation for Geltech. Well, with the fire ice uh, thing, do you get involved with putting out forest fires or anything like that? Yes, we've been very, very successful this year in different states, uh, different government agencies, where we've been very successful at putting out fires. Uh, and, you know, you remember fires start small. So we're going with a different approach, direct attack, and we're putting these fires out immediately at 400, 500, 600 acres. So it's not a product that you put, you know, a little bit of ways from the fire and allow the fire to get to it because they're creating fire breaks and in a lot of these situations the fuels the buildup of the fire it's breaking right through these fire lines like they don't even exist yeah well that was obvious out there in the, in the western part of the united states was that was just decimated by by these forest fires rapidly spreading i mean geez oh it's devastating yes well, you just got back from Columbia. You told me about it. What's that was all about? I'm just working on some dust control issues. We have another product that uh, keeps dust down, saves millions of gallons of water, which water is one of the most precious things on Earth today. So it's a really concern to the mining industry and different industries that have this ability and have this situation in the agriculture. Farming, dust is a big issue dust is harming the crop so it's very important to keep the dust down on these haul roads so just using plain water it's just not working uh, so well, we, okay when you go to the mining country down in Colombia they got dust problems how do you correct that what they do is they have water tankers and we add a little bit of our product in um, we circulate it for a couple of minutes and then you go put it down by doing this it holds the, it locks the sand molecules together and it doesn't allow them to be so light and flighty because a lot of mining industries, they water all day long, every day. And the water is very expensive. It's a serious situation. Yeah. And it's using also this, tough to, to, to come by. Yeah, absolutely. So by using a little bit of this product, it could save you up to 50% of your watering. So you could start cutting your watering back up to 50%. So it saves on water, manpower, equipment, fuel. It just goes on and on the list. So it's uh, just yeah. a great situation. Well, how did you, did you invent uh, fire ice? How did that, how, how'd that come along? Well, actually, it was by accident. Uh, we were working on a couple other projects and we saw the devastating fires here in Florida I think it was back in 2001 yeah we had a yeah, problem there, and yeah. um, we were fooling around with the product uh, working on other applications and I put my hand in it one day and it was really cool feeling so I didn't know at that point was this the next neosporing of the world <laughs> uh, what could this be for burnt victims because it was very cool gel so then um, so then I took an ice cream stick and put it in it one day and put a lighter to it and it wouldn't light. So then I took it to another level. We mixed it up in some spray bottles. We sprayed it on some pine trees locally here. We put yeah. a torch to them and the tree wouldn't light. And where it did light, it'd go right out as soon as it met the gel. So I went around showing this to different fire agencies all over the U.S. and they thought it was an amazing product, but I needed to get certification. So I took it back and I went to the U.S. Forest Service and we went through the QPL and we passed it all. Um, this is hump, not harmful to the marine life, right. to vegetation. These are very important approvals you got to get. So we have all those approvals now. It took four years to get them. Wow. 
God wash your Pete Cordani. You did it, and you got the patent, and it's a secret sauce, right? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck with the fire eyes, and stay with us. We'll return right after these words.